Hello everyone, this is Saurav and welcome to Orissa Post Live and these are today's top headlines. Minister for Railways, Communications and Electronics and Information Technology Ashwini Vaishnav took oath Thursday as the member of Rajya Sabha representing Odisha for the second consecutive time. He was administered the oath of office by Vice President and Rajya Sabha Chairman Jagdeep Dhankar at the new parliament building in New Delhi. Vaishnav took oath in Odia. Three persons have been rescued while one person is still missing after the boat they were travelling on Thursday capsized in the Mahanadi River near Gopalpur village in Banki area of Katak district. Fire services personnel are trying to locate the missing person identified as Rajat Nayak from Dhenkanal. Sonali Sahu, spokesperson of the Odisha unit of the BJP, resigned from the primary membership of the party Thursday in a resignation letter sent to the president of the Odisha unit Manmohan Samal, she alleged that the party is not pro-woman. Within a few hours of quitting the BJP, she joined the Congress. The Odisha government announced Thursday that all employees will get holidays in the four-phase polls in the state to cast their votes as per a release issued by the Revenue and Disaster Management Department. Elections will be held in Odisha May 13, May 20, May 25 and June 1. Employees who will cast their votes on each of the days will be granted leave, officials said. Despite repeated warnings, cases of people falling into open drain accidents in both Bhubaneswar and Katak continue. A man who was working as a mason in Katak city died after falling into an open drain in Mahimanagar area under CRRI police limits late Wednesday night. The regional office of the IMD in Bhubaneswar informed Thursday that the ongoing heat wave will continue in several districts of Odisha for the next three to four days. Heat wave warnings have been issued for the districts of Nayagarh, Bodh, Kandamal, Katak, Bhadrak, Jajpur, Bolangir, Kalahandi, Malkangiri, Koraput, and Dhenkanal. India has successfully carried out a night launch of new generation nuclear capable ballistic missile Agni Prime from the Abdul Kalam island of the coast of Odisha, boosting the country's strategic deterrence capability, the Defence Ministry said Thursday. It added that the test flight was carried out Wednesday evening and it met all the trial objectives. The Delhi High Court refused Thursday to entertain a PIL seeking the removal of Arvind Kejriwal as Chief Minister following his arrest by the Enforcement Directorate in the excise policy-linked money laundering case. The High Court said at times, personal interest has to be subordinate to national interest. Union Minister Mansuk Mandavia said Thursday in New Delhi that there will be no increase in prices of essential medicines this fiscal year in view of negligible growth in wholesale price-based inflation. He said that it is Modi's guarantee that there will be no rise in prices of medicines. The CPIM released Thursday its manifesto for the Lok Sabha elections promising to scrap all draconian laws such as the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act and the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. The CPIM appealed to voters to defeat the BJP, strengthen the left and ensure the formation of an alternative secular government at the centre. A day after being expelled from the Congress, former MP Sanjay Nirupam hit out at the Grand Old Party Thursday and claimed there is tremendous arrogance in the party leadership. Addressing a press conference in Mumbai, Nirupam further claimed the Congress is now history and has no future and that the Maha Vikas Agadi is a merger of three Sikh units. The IPL has recorded a TV viewership of 35 crore in its first 10 matches, which is higher than any previous edition of the tournament including the seasons played during the COVID-19 pandemic. The event's official broadcaster claimed Thursday. As per BARC data, the overall watch time for the tournament has skyrocketed to 8,028 crore minutes, which is 20% higher than last year. That's all for today's top headlines. Stay tuned to Orissa Post Live.